Hey guys, recently I was contacted by the folks over at Film Convert to try out one of their newer pieces of software, which is called Cinematch. And if you've ever been on a shoot where you've shot with multiple cameras that aren't identical, then you know how much time and effort goes into trying to match the colour profiles from those cameras to make the footage, the overall footage, look completely seamless and cohesive. So what Cinematch does is it takes the profile from one camera and then tries to match the other cameras to that profile. So I'm going to jump in and show you how it works. It's super easy to use, it's awesome and so here we go. So during this video I'm going to be using Premiere Pro because that's what I edit in. Cinematch is available for Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve and at a later date it will be available for Final Cut Pro. The two cameras that I'm going to be using for this test are the a7S II and the a7 III. I did set the settings to be pretty much identical because that's what I would have done if I was on a proper shoot. I shot some footage outside and I shot some footage indoors as well so that I could play around with different lighting conditions as well. So I'm going to take you through how to use Cinematch and then I'm going to show you what my workflow would have been if I didn't use Cinematch. So first of all, once you've in installed it onto your PC, it will automatically show up in Premiere, which is what I'm using. So if you head over to your effects panel and type in Cinematch, then you just drop it onto each clip. So the first camera and the second camera. And then essentially you want to set your source camera to whatever camera you shot with on both clips. So for the first clip, it was the A7S II. So I'm just going to grab that. So any A7S2 and it was SLOG2 S Gamma Cine. Yep. And then for the second clip, it was the A7 III, also shot in um, SLOG2. Cool. So I want to match the A7S2 to the A7 III. So going back to the A7S2 clip, I'm going to click that and then go down to target camera settings and this is where I'm going to set my target camera which is the A7 III. And what you also want to do is apply Rec 709 to both clips and then you can see that it's matched the footage. The only thing that you can see here is that the A7S II has a bit of a, a green tint to it, which I'm just gonna remove down in the settings here. So this is the camera adjustments that you can make. So I'm just gonna pull up the magenta a little bit, and then just go between the two clips. Just gonna do a tiny bit more. Cool. I think that looks pretty good and that took me absolutely no time at all. I can't believe how quick that was. It's just awesome. So my workflow, had I not used Cinematch, I've imported the two clips here. Um, here it is, it just in the base S-Log2 footage. So what I would normally do if this was, um, if I didn't use Cinematch is I drag an adjustment layer over my clips and then I've created this um, base S-Log2 preset. So this is what I drop onto my S-Log2 footage and then I kind of work from there. So it just means that I don't have to, every time I import footage, I don't have to do the settings that I would normally set. So one of the things that I'm going to do is just increase my exposure and just pull my contrast down and, and then also come down to the curves and just make those a little bit, make that a little bit softer. And also just pull back the highlights a little bit. Okay, so that's the A7 III, this is the A7S II. So now I'm gonna try and match the A7S II footage to the A7 III. 
So I'd normally create another adjustment layer and kind of put it under here, but I'll just do it on this clip for now. So first of all, I'm going to want to put a bit of magenta back into this, like I did when I used Cinematch. a little bit too much. So that doesn't look too bad. I could keep tweaking it and keep having a little bit of a play with it. But one of the things that I am noticing is that if you look at the greens in the leaves on the A7S II, they're still a little bit more on the yellow side, whereas the green here on the A7 III is more of a cool green whereas if you look at Cinematch and how it's matched the colors you can't really see much of a difference between the two clips and I think that's just really awesome so I could keep going through this and I could keep tweaking it I could go into the um, uh, HSL settings and try and tweak the colors so that they look a little bit more like the a7 III greens in the colors but that will just take me a little bit longer, so I'm not gonna do that here. But this is basically why Cinematch is just such a great plugin to use, and it's definitely one that I'm gonna to apply to my workflow. The other fantastic thing that you can do with Cinematch is I might not want to necessarily set my target camera to look like the a7 III for both clips, so what you can do with Cinematch is you can go through and you can set the target camera for each clip to a completely different camera. So if you like the look of an Ari Alexa or a RED camera, then you can go ahead and set those and then you can completely change the look of your footage for both clips. So I'm gonna switch the target camera settings for the A7S II to, a, to an Ari Alexa, apply that, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to the A7 III. And you can see you've just got that seamless, it just looks so good. <laughs> I think this is something that I'm actually gonna be using in my workflow when I'm color correcting and color grading. Because the other thing that I also do is use Film Convert for my final grade. So, but this is just, this is awesome. So that's Cinematch and I think it's an awesome piece of software. I'm not just saying that because I got sent a free version. I genuinely believe it's gonna reduce the amount of time I spend trying to color match different color profiles from different cameras when I shoot with multiple different cameras. So if you wanna pick up a copy of your own, then head to the description because I've left a link down there to where you can get it. Um, if you like this video and you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome and consider subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.